DNA is a self-replicating material that is present in nearly all living organisms. DNA is, in simple terms, nature's hard drive, capable of storing, replicating, and transmitting massive amounts of information. Everything from your physical features to your likelihood of dying from a certain disease. It's the incredible secret behind life, and for as much as we know about it, there is still so much more that we don't. Researchers in New York incredibly found a way to use DNA like an actual computer's hard drive by successfully storing, replicating, and retrieving several digital files. And no, this isn't a joke. These scientists were able to transfer real-world information into binary code. And with the help of a DNA constructing startup company, they were able to implant that data into DNA as well as retrieve it. Amazingly enough, this means that DNA is not only storage for biological data, but in fact a form of digital storage for any data. It is estimated that one gram of DNA can hold up to 215 petabytes, which is equivalent to 215,000 terabytes or 225 million gigabytes. Essentially, DNA is the world's greatest storage device, and we are walking around with massive hard drives of data and legacy within us. DNA is, in a way, our own personal memory card for whatever this game of life is. But it somehow gets even crazier from here. That data and information that they were able to place inside of and retrieve from DNA wasn't all they tested. In fact, they also placed malicious computer code into those physical strands of DNA. Their aim was to show that computers working in gene sequencing were vulnerable to attack, and that a malicious code implanted in DNA could in fact attack those computers. But they might have also inadvertently revealed that what we perceive to be biological reality is in fact computer code. Our very DNA has the capability of carrying malicious computer codes and viruses that could infect other computers, and perhaps even one day, other humans. It really makes you wonder about all of this. Life, existence, the simulation theory, the very thing that constructs us, the DNA inside of our cells, can store and run computer code as well as viruses? What exactly are we? Are we nothing more than advanced computer code in a simulated reality?